If you love your roses but you live in a unit or townhouse with no garden, well don't despair because as long as you've got a sunny little patch on a balcony, you can grow beautiful roses in containers. All you need to do is follow these simple tips. Now here's one I've been growing in this old concrete tub for over four years and it's been fantastic and I've got to admit I do ignore it sometimes but the great thing is even when it's looking at its most neglected I give it a bit of a service and it rewards me every time. And it starts with a bit of pruning and it really should be done after each flush of flowers and there's a few reasons for that. It keeps the plant looking compact in the pot so it looks good. Also it's a good chance to get in and remove any of this dead and disease growth and you can see some of that down here. That keeps the plant looking healthy. But above all pruning stimulates growth and the sooner you get in and remove any of those flowers the sooner you'll get a good succession of blooms. The next step after you prune give them a feed. That'll guarantee your roses have all the nutrients they need to form healthy new growth and blooms. And for pots, stick with a slow release form of fertiliser so that you don't burn the roots. Now of course regular watering is important too, especially after feeding because that'll make sure the plant can take up those nutrients really quickly. Now I like to use a wetting agent every three months or so and that'll make sure that it'll take care of any dry patches that could be in the mix. Now there you go, this will be bursting with new buds in no time. One last tip, common rose diseases like black spot can be devastating so you need to take precautionary measures. And one of the best things you can do is spray the foliage with sea sole every two weeks. What that'll do is increase the plant's natural ability to resist disease and also it helps stimulate healthy growth and enhance foliage and flower colour. And the handy trigger pack, it's a great thing to keep close for treating all your pot plants. So remember those tips, regular pruning followed by feeding, watering and repeat foliage sprays every two weeks or so and I guarantee you'll grow the most beautiful roses even in containers on your patio or balcony.